This is Chaos and Aquariums. Let's do a water change. I'm going to do a water change on a 20 gallon salt water tank. First thing you want to do is get the glass clean. So take our little magnet scrubber and I don't go all the way to the sand. Now we've got most of our glass clean. Still got to get down here at the sand bed. And what I like to use to really get down in there is one of these right here. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and take our lights off and our, our top off. Take that all the way down in there. All right, so now that all of our glass is clean. All the stuff's floating around. Next thing you want to do is turn everything off. Alright, now we've got our bucket mixed up with our salt. Heat it up to the same temperature as our tank. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our siphon hose. And I will show you the trick so you don't have to put this in your mouth. So don't want none of this going in our mouth at all. So have your bucket over here, ready to go. Let that fill up. Once that goes, gets in there, you cap off the end of the hose. Stick this back under there. It'll fill up. And that gives you a little bit of time. Still got it capped. Don't let it go yet. Get that in here. Let's get situated. Put that in our bucket. Let go of the end. Take this. Let it come up. You pinch it off. Once you see all the stuff get to the top of your your hose up here, you pinch it off and let all your sand and gravel go back down to the bottom.
right, so now that we've got all of our the water out that we're going to take out, and remember, you, you, it's best if you got two buckets the same size, because then you can take out the same amount that you've already got made up. You kind of got all, already got all that planned. So the next thing we're going to do is take out our filters. And this Seachem filters that we run on most of our tanks is pretty cool because you can just pull this whole little thing out of it and you can take it wherever and rinse out your filters and, and do, do what all you need to do. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Alright, so now we've got all of our filters rinsed out, cleaned up, ready to go back in. I just slide that back in there. it into place. So like I said, we've already got our water mixed up. There is easier ways to do this, but the way I've always done it is just buy an old cheap measuring cup and a rag. Go scoop up your water. Hold it over your rag, dump it in. The reason for the rag is, because when you scoop that water up and you go over, you're gonna drip on your tank. And then, it just, it's more mess you gotta clean up. So, let's go ahead and get it back filled up. Another thing, when you pour this in, slowly pour it on top of the rocks. Because if you pour it over sand, it's it just makes a mess and you go So now we've got all of our water filled back up to where it was before you emptied it. That's a big thing. You don't want to take out less water and put back in more because that will highly affect your salt levels or vice versa. You don't want to take out more water and put in less because it will throw everything all out of whack. You want to figure out a system and take out the same amount that you're going to put in. So now we can start putting everything back together. So the first thing we're going to do is power everything back up. And we can go ahead and put our top on. And then last we can go ahead and put our light back on. So now that it's been about 20 minutes, everything's perfectly clear, and your tank's back to perfect. And that's that's all there is to it. That's how we do our water change on our 20 gallon salt water. And uh, whether you've been doing this for years or you're brand new to the hobby, I hope everybody took a little something away from this video. And uh, we'll see you guys later.